Ladies and gentlemen, the event is about to begin. Please take your seats and turn off your mobile phones. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, the event is about to begin. Please take your seats and turn off your mobile phones. Thank you very much.
Hold on. Sí. Marca. Para la larga, para que se Que tiene un mes una raya la batería. Hey guys, uh, my name is Martin Dugianis. Uh, I'm the founder and CEO of Moodle. So Moodle is that software that you use in your school and is used by millions of people around the world in schools, universities and companies as well for online learning. So I'm the guy who started that about 20 years ago. Uh, now I run a company which is at the, the core of this big open source project. So something you may not know is that Moodle is free and being open source, we have thousands of people around the world who are helping to work on it and helping to improve it. Uh, and uh, they all benefit, we all work on it together. In my job, um, I have to try and direct the company and the, the community uh, into a direction to make this software the most useful thing that it can be for people. And uh, what I would love to do with you is to hear from you that if you were in my shoes, if you were in this position, what would you do with Moodle? How would you change Moodle to be a, um, a better tool? So in your school, uh, your teachers and administrators are, re are responsible for setting it up and turning things on and off um, and creating that environment. 
And then your teachers in the classrooms, uh, again, they're, they're putting in their own content in there and they're structuring it how they want. So part of the experience you're having is, is due to them. But part of it is about the, the tool itself, the actual um, software. So I would really love you to imagine uh, in a future world that Moodle has been changed to, have, uh, to work better in some way. How would you improve it? How would you make it more useful for a student? So you've been invited, and that's why you're seeing this video, to come and join us at our global Moodle conference, which we call the Moodle Moot, uh, and that's in Barcelona in November. Uh, we're having a session with uh, lots of classes from around uh, Barcelona to come in and uh, share with us all, uh, all the people at the conference, um, your ideas. So we'll have a session, I'll be there, uh, and uh, we're going to have a look at them. So I'd love you to, you know, draw pictures on paper, um, maybe write something up, uh, perhaps you want to make a short video, uh, anything you think of that will get it across, and bring it in with you. Um, and uh, we'll put it up on the big screen, we'll all look at the stuff together and we'll have a discussion. And uh, maybe we'll have some good ideas. And hopefully, some idea that one of you comes up with, or many of you come up with, is going to actually influence how Moodle is for the next few years. And your idea could help millions of students around the world. So, get your thinking caps on. Looking forward to seeing you in November at the conference. Ciao. Good luck. All right. All right. Here we are. We're here. It's here. Um, <clears throat> so, look, thank you. That, I, I remember doing that video. I think I had one busy meeting, and then I had another busy meeting, and I had 15 minutes to make that video. <laughs> um, Thank you for coming. Thank you, guys. Uh, so we have uh, representatives from four schools here. And I'm going to get out of the way and, and let you guys present. And we can talk about it afterwards. But I'm very keen to see it. So thank you for coming in in the morning. Thank you for everybody for coming in after the Moodle party last night. And um, uh, let's go. So who's first? We're first up. I think we have, uh, if you could put the screen on. It's Mila y Fontanals. I'm not so good at the, the Catalan, sorry. Go for it. Come on. Hello, we are students from Institute Milan Fontanas, and we're going to do a presentation about Moodle in the future. So the last weeks we've been asking ourselves what is going to be Moodle in the future. However, we first guessed that we need to know what students need now. And as students, we have all kind of needs, so it's good if you have someone that cares about you. Someone to help us organize ourselves, someone to engage us into getting healthy habits someone to guide us in our studies, and someone that connects our interests in school, and someone that knows how to make our life easier. So to answer these requirements, we believe Moodle should be our coach that will lead us to our success. Now we will show you how we imagine it will be. Future Moodle is not an isolated tool. It incorporates other useful platforms that we use every day, such as YouTube, Skype, WhatsApp, and Drive documents. Also, it is connected to our everyday devices, watch phones and models. Um, Future Moodle has an engaging design that the students can adapt their interests or, or see, personalizing by photos and that's all. And the Future app has also um, a teenage friendly vibe and to access the app, you scan your fingerprint or iris. There are different innovations in the future model. For example, you can record your lessons and convert them into notes. Also from notes model, will design conceptual maps to help your study. Um, additionally, it creates mock exams from all your notes and lessons 
to help you check your progress and study. Um, Moodle will also help you arrange your calendar to organize your study hours and the time you have to relax and ex exercise. And it has diverse innovations when it comes to classroom sitting as well. There are lessons where you can use virtual reality to make your experience more dynamic. In history, for instance, you can see important places such as a castle or the Berlin Wall. And in science, you can see in reality how the human body works. Teachers have also the option to record their lessons and upload them in a hologram format. Moodle allows you to, to use stickers and memes to, to describe your mood, so your teacher know how you're feeling about a subject or a task. However, one of our most valued characteristics is Moody. It's a personal assistant that will guide in your studies. Today, we are lucky to have her here with us. Hey, I'm Moody. And it's not because I'm ill-tempered or anything. On the contrary, I will always try to get you in a good mood whenever I can. There are many things I can do for you. But first, I, you can personalize my voice to match a famous actor, actress, or a teacher if you want to. <laughs> you can, well, you can tell me with what subjects you're struggling. I will give you some useful links, and I will also play relaxing music if you want to concentrate while you're studying. I can put a mute note in your phone, and I will plan your schedule for the week, so you can, you can have all the hours planned while you're studying. And I will give you ecological advice and healthy habits. Also, if you want to, I can be your friend. All in all, we believe the model of the future, it will be connected by students' needs. It will be engaging and will provide something that we need in great extent, which is guidance and support. And now uh, we will show you a video for how a day in the life of a student would be with Moody. Today we have gym, math, science, and Spanish. Okay, thanks, Moody. You should bring the gym's words and the science logic. That is good today. Hey, Moody. Do you mind if we revise the context of the history exam? Sure. Okay. Great, Gabriel. You are the eight out of ten guys. Right? 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 You can have to work in the Spanish figure we are in here. Okay, right. Can you look for some links on YouTube? Hey, Mary, can you remind me to meet my friends after school? Sure. Okay, class, we're going to start now. Open the mood, please. Hey, Mary, can you record the class, please? Sure. The class has been recorded. Do you want to convert the audio file into text? Yes, please. Can you put on the mirror? Let us see. And that way, she can follow the class from home. It's done, that's Hey, Lily, can you put on music, please? Okay, music on. to do one hour of physical activity every day. Thanks, Mary. 
I don't see a white now. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And now, as Moody, I will be more than pleased to answer all your questions. Any questions? <laughs> No? <laughs> uh, so, uh, very, very cool guy. Nice work. Um, what's the difference between Moodle and the phone? How do you see, how do you see, it sounds like you want Moodle to be very well integrated into what phones are doing as well. Is that fair to say? So, well, uh, <laughs> we, so the difference between the Moodle, I mean, Moodle has an app, right? Yep. So we believe that it could be more useful for people to use it as in the mobile phone and not than in the yeah. in the laptop or anything. Because it's something you always have with you. The yep. more of the teenagers always have the mobile phones on their pockets, so <laughs> Yeah, cool. No, very cool. No, no, I'm just I'm asking hard questions. Do you do you would you be comfortable speaking out loud to Moody all the time in class? Well, um, if, some, if, if it gets like common, then yes, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> because it's like you can be, it can be like your friend or something and you can also put it in, as I said, you can also put it on mood mode so okay. it won't talk to you in the middle of the class. So. <laughs> Any other questions? Someone must have some questions? Someone? There's a lot of brains here, a lot of Moodle brains. They're not thinking very fast yet because it's the morning. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Someone, someone have something. Yes? A thought? Yes. Oh. Okay. Um, have you seen your teachers use Moodle? Uh, so that's my first question, and if you have seen them, uh, have you noticed that if, if they use it differently than you, and if they do, how? Yes, well, they, they use it, and yes, they have their own, their own, it's like different from the student view, point of view, right? But this future model, it could be also very helpful for the teachers. Like, if someone, I mean, the teacher can remember the students to, to bring their things, to bring their, I don't know, <laughs> their material, and it could be, it, it is actually helpful for teachers as well. Um, question, what would you like Moodle to keep all your things you did in school and sooner than you know you will leave school and start a job or a university and would you like to be Moodle a companion then for learning as well? It could be. If you think it's useful for your work, if you are, I don't know, I mean if you're in a farm, it's not useful obviously, but um, well, if if you're, I don't know, if you're in, in an agency or something, you can, I think you can use it. And it's like a little box of, of memories of your student years and it could be cool to see it. Yeah, um, as a teacher, one of the things I'm concerned about is, you know, how much can we teach our students to be autonomous? I am a little bit concerned about students being too dependent. How could Moody actually teach them to first be dependent on Moody, but slowly but surely become more autonomous in their learning? Thank you. <laughs> Moody, it's not, um, it's not like someone who does your work. It's someone that it's by your side when you're working and helps you with anything he can or she can. And it's, it could be, it could make a student a very a little dependent from, for it, but um, maybe will, 
who gives him them advice, okay? So it's more than someone that does your work, it's someone that helps you do it yourself. Thank you. Uh, thank you for being the spokesman for the group and handling the questions <laughs> so well, and, and for all of you in front of this big audience. So thank you very, very much. Round of applause, and <laughs> on to the next school. Second. Do you know the one? Oh, sorry. Sorry, can you get the next presentation? You got it? Yeah, okay. Ah. So, uh, pretty interesting uh, mix of uh, ideas in there. It's going to be really interesting to see what's similar and what's different between these. I could see a, a lot of work went into that one. You got a microphone, okay. Good. Oh, when you're ready. Um, good morning. First of all, we would like to thank you all for having us here. We are greatly and deeply honored. So we are students at the high school Bernat del Ferré in Molins de Rey, and we have been users since for first grade, so we have four years of experience. We greatly appreciate the work that all of you have accomplished with this incredible project. And even so, we would like to propose some ideas to make this tool more functional. Now we are going to expose our experience and our suggestions of improvement. Uh, the model helps year after year thousands of education centers and organizations. And from our perspective and experience, it has several advantages. And it has often fulfilled our expectations. Um, we think that one of the strongest points of the model is that we can use it for free. And moreover, it's better for the environment because we don't use so many worksheets or paper books and this way, we reduce a lot our consume of, of paper. And furthermore, um, we are in constant contact with the technology. And this leads to the growth of our technological knowledge. Uh, well, one of the things that we can add inside the Moodle for improving it is a device such as Rive. This device will allow us to do presentations or assignments in group without meeting and doing the task in one laptop. So as a result, we can work at home and at the moment is more suitable for each member of the group. On the other hand, this suggestion is also easier for the teachers when they are marking the work because the task is in a general document. Another of our suggestions of improvement is to have a virtual diary. It means you can organize your schedule as you want to be able to write down all your homework and exams, as well as teachers can add important tasks. Moreover, inside the virtual diary, we would like to have a section where we can see our class attendance register, such as the faults and delays, and if they are justified. Also, the diary could have a section where all the students' qualifications could be set out properly to have a general view of each subject. Another use that we've thought for the virtual schedule could be that a notification could be sent to the user's mobile phone. Uh, in different situations, such as when there is an exam, um, when a task is about to be closed, when the teacher needs to inform about some event, or even um, when the task has been corrected and the mark is visible. In order to make this section more attractive, we thought that in the notification settings, uh, could include um, a part 
where the student could change the notification sound or even personalize the message that arrives to the user's uh, mail or mobile phone. Another improvement could be doing an, an app of the model in offline mode that allows you to use the model when you don't have a, a Wi-Fi connection or when it doesn't work. It would work as the model that you can find on the platform, but with all his uh, uh, functions and accesses you can use there. But when connecting to the network, automatically by choosing an option, upload all uh, changes you've been doing. With this app, your time without network will be used instead of waiting for it. Moreover, in our opinion, one problem is the profile. Um, we think uh, that we don't take enough profit of it. Uh, so we thought ways to improve it. Uh, for example, one of the things that can be added is a tool to create automatically a statistic of your scores. Um, in this way, you can, you can check your progress whenever you want. Secondly, another improvement could be to be able to organize your courses um, of all years as you want. Because maybe you could want to, to, to check things that you made previously. Um, we've also noticed that um, for the students it isn't always easy to remember everything we did in class. Um, especially we did a lot um, years ago. Um, this can be a real struggle sometimes, and we think that Moodle can put an end to this issue by um, adding a private library to each user's profile. In this way, um, we would be able to keep track of all the courses and things we work on through the years, and as well to um, check out that information if it's ever needed for upcoming tasks or papers. Well, um, another suggestion is that we would like to improve the model design because most of us agree that it's, too, it's quite formal and neutral. So if we had a personalized style for each user, for example, having predeterminated styles, um, uh, each user could choose the one that they feel more comfortable. So this could be possible um, adding different types of possibilities like uh, change the platform colors um, different themes uh, a wide ranging of letter styles or even some decorations or images um, in addition uh, another point is a uh, night mode uh, this uh, this could be positive for all the users who work at night or the ones who have sensitive eyes in order to be more comfortable while they are working on their devices. Another, another thing is when you, when you start using the Moodle, well, it's quite difficult to understand how to use it and how many functions are there. For this reason, we think that it could be a good idea if we... If, to add a tutorial that explains basic information for the new users. Mm. And, we, and we hope that the ideas will contribute to improve the model in the future, um, if there are any questions. Wow. Wow, that was... Uh that was a really good collection of like solid ideas. Um, one of them I can say already exists. We have the app that works offline. This already is, we have this okay. So you're already done. One is done. Uh, <laughs> the rest were very good ideas, I thought. So um, uh, anyone else got any questions? We've got Tim at the back there. Um, that was, yeah, thank you. That was really interesting. I had a similar thought. Some of those things, I think Moodle will think we have already developed that. So what I think I've learned as a software developer 
it's no good, I think I've built something, it does no good unless it's so easy to use that people really use it. You know, it's like, well, there's this thing you could turn on, but if no one knows that and no one ever turns it on, then why did I bother? So software is only delivers value if people actually can just use the features there because they're not, because they're there, you know. Sorry, I'll stop. I also want to thank you so much for presenting in English, which is a third language for most of you also. So thank you. Um, so, regarding the, to the question, um, while we were doing the um, presentation and all the we discussing about what to do, um, we noticed that um, especially the, the students that first start um, working with Moodle, um, though the um, um, tool is really in intuitive, it gets hard sometimes to um, know all the features. And we believe that, um, especially for those who are starting, um, it would be nice for them to get some glasses just to adapt to it. And especially for um, first graders, it would be um, really a really nice thing. Too. And any other question? Okay. Thank you for this very nice uh, presentation. Very nice ideas. It's always. Uh, uh, the most interesting thing to see how uh, the students uh, appreciate Moodle and uh, use it. So my question to you is, uh, would you or do you use Moodle if your teacher doesn't use Moodle? And uh, a second question related to this, would you like to use Moodle or are there reasons to use Moodle if your teacher is not using Moodle? I don't know about other high schools, but at least in ours, um, not all teachers um, use Moodle as much as others. Like every, um, everyone uses it at um, their own level. But um, at least me personally, um, I, I would use it um, even though the teachers don't. Because after all, um, it's supposed to help you as a student, not um, the teach. It's not something you do because the teachers tell you. It's just something, something that's more practical and it just um, makes learning easier. Okay. One, one last question, anyone? Okay, back over here. Yeah. Um, good morning, all of you, and thanks for your uh, nice presentation, nice initiative as well. Um, I was just wondering, in our university, uh, next to our model courses, there are many Facebook groups where students put many things, questions, sometimes keys to exercises, etc. And so we've realized that uh, whatever we do, they will always find a way to make something where the teacher is not. Okay, uh, is it your case, or do you feel comfortable with you know uh, sharing ideas, um, posting things on on the forums, etc.? Um, so can you say a word, or this is a question to everybody actually? want me to, yeah, probably <laughs> rephrase. Um. So, uh, basically, to cut a long story short, do you have uh, uh, another Facebook or uh, social media platform where you work next to Moodle offline without the teacher? Um, I am with comfortable um, comfort, com, um, working as, um, along the teachers, but um, I I can see myself working offline without a teacher as well. I I I don't I don't think necessarily that's 
going to be fired off. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you for coming uh, and for that, that lovely presentation. So, uh, very useful. We, we have a lot of Moodle developers in this room who I hope are all taking notes and thinking, and we're going to think about these things in our roadmap process. Uh, who's next? Here we go. When I see articulate young people like this, it always gives me extra hope for the future. All right, go ahead. Who has the control of the presentation? Okay. Amazon. Starbucks. American Airlines. All those companies use loyalty programs for both customers and employers for increasing their usage of their platforms. But what's loyalty program? Well, a loyalty program is a strategy developed by a company to engage their customers to use their platforms and increase efficiency in their employees. So let me give you a quick example. Um, last week I went to the Amazon Fulfillment Center, which is the second largest warehouse in Barcelona. Uh, the, sorry, the second largest warehouse in whole Europe, and Amazon had there more than 1,500 workers there. It was a really tough job. They, it was super repetitive, and Amazon engaged customer, uh, employers to do their job productively by awarding them points if they did their job efficiently and they gave new ideas. And then those points, they can change them for several prices, like could be Amazon merch at their shop there. Uh, what we wanted to do is implement this strategy in Moodle. We would do that by making a point-based economy where the teacher sets both the prizes that you can win and the tasks that you have to want to do to win these points. We think that this would make students uh, get more focused in work and uh, increase their overall academic level. Yeah, so the good thing about this system is that the teacher can assign both the variables of the prices and of the task uh, of the point winning tasks. So, for example, the teacher can assign that if you arrive punctual to class every single day for a month, you earn 20 points, and with those 20 points, you can skip one lesson. Or you can, uh, yeah, that's good, right? Yeah, that's good. So, yeah, so you can either skip one lesson or give an assignment late after the due date. Those prizes can be assigned by the teacher and that will motivate the students to do a, uh, to do a perfect work and improve their overall academic results. Uh, we thought about three ways that you can win points. The first one is individual. Uh, you get points by yourself and these points will give you prizes that you can use but only for yourself. Then there are the group points that you win with all your group and it, they are rewarded for uh, good teamwork and competition against other groups. And last we have the class points that you get all, with all your class for an outstanding job done by all the class. Uh, we think that this would be a nice addition to Moodle because we know for sure that punishment does not work effectively. And now more than ever, teachers have to think positively and make positive ways of teaching students. We have been told that teachers sometimes are influenced by who has done a work when correcting it, meaning that tasks are not always graded objectively. This is why one of our proposals for Moodle is creating a way in which teachers can grade and correct students' work anonymously. What we mean by this is, Teachers would get all of the uploaded tasks from Moodle without knowing who the owner is until all tasks are corrected and graded. 
This way, we would all be more motivated to improve our work and make a progress. And at the same time, we would prevent teachers from being conditioned by a name rather than the work done. It could all be summed up as an anonymous work concept. Another concept we came up with is a Moodle setting to help teachers correct and grade the tasks. A teacher, one of our teachers told us that a problem most teachers face is the level difference between students in some subjects. Sometimes when teachers are grading a task, they are unconsciously influenced by the task they have corrected previously, meaning that they don't correct each task equally. An easy solution for this issue would be creating a Moodle input, input that would shuffle students' tasks automatically and present them to the teacher in a specific order. Tasks made from students with a higher average grade in the subject would be spread throughout the tasks of students with a lower average grade in that subject. This way, the teacher would it will be easier for the teacher to correct all the tasks and it will save them time. Um, since entertainment has always been one of the most attractive things in daily life, why not benefit from it in school life? So we came up with an idea, which is the discovery page, in which we have Challenge Yourself, which are quizzes, games, and also student-focused news, which are interviews, and other stuff, which my friends will explain now. So exploring the technological world and collaborating with our classmates by introducing this new system, we could actually benefit very much. In competing between classmates and creating our own quizzes, solving the quizzes already done by our classmates, and learning various things with help in our education. In expanding our imagination and also adding various things to the quizzes and to the format of Moodle, we could, um, we could improve our education and the education of our friends. So, um, we also believe that it would be very interesting to add um, a link to worldwide news for the students and users of Moodle, right on the menu site. Um, even if the, news, if the news that pops out are, um, are not factually or uh, substantially relevant, it would be, it would be uh, quite fancy to uh, add this kind of facility to, facility to our website. Other kinds of mediatic coverage could also be brought into consideration, just like videos, forums, or blogs. Um, finally, and most importantly, it will give us something to talk about between friends and help us break the ice. Um, aside from the new tools we have proposed to our model, we also wanted them to ensure the old ones. While thinking about ways to improve the platform, we realized how many tools uh, it already has, tools we weren't aware of, or taking advantage of, uh, because we didn't even uh, knew they existed. Um, um, all, all of this uh, just because uh, they were invisible in the main sections of the web page, or because they were just uh, too hard to find among all the other tools. So what we are proposing is a video tutorial or a visual guide, which has as main objective to inform about every feature and advantage Moodle has. For example, in our case, we didn't notice that you could activate notifications on Moodle, so we never knew when a teacher was grading us or when a task was uploaded. I really wish we had this explanatory video before, because then we would have been uh, likely aware of all the features Moodle can offer. We'll display the video in one of the main pages of the website, making sure that none of the benefits that Moodle uh, offers, um, and the ones that remain to come, um, I, are get unnoticed or uh, we, don't, we aren't aware of them. So we know this last idea is quite simple, but think about it. Why do we want to add more to Moodle if we don't know what we already have? And the main idea is to collect every tool Moodle gives us to make its platform as fun as, as, fun, as and beneficial as possible and create a video explaining all the basic concepts. And we know most of the students that use Moodle don't know half of the things that you can find on the web page. For this reason, this video would be available and updated at all costs. This idea is a fun and helpful idea that benefits all Moodle users. All right, well, uh, after those ideas said, we want to thank Mr. Georgie Amos for being here and having given us the opportunity to present our ideas. We hope together we can improve the platform together. Then I also want to give thanks to Asade for hosting us here, and I also want to give some credit for our classmates, because it's been hard work 
doing the brainstorming about all the different ideas we've shown to you here. And it's not just our, it's, it's them also. So give them a round of applause, please. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I, I had been thinking this whole time this morning already how much work everyone's been doing. That's a lot of preparation, and you're very well prepared. Um, again, some really good ideas, and I think this idea that two groups have mentioned now of a video tutorial help makes so much sense. Um, and we have some help stuff, but like Tim said, if you can't find it, it's no use for anyone. I've got one question. Uh, just on the gamification thing you mentioned, the points at the beginning. Um, is there anything that you have experienced in your own life already that has points like that that you enjoy, that worked? Um, well, the thing about uh, when we apply to the companies, uh, the thing about American Airlines, for example, when you buy tickets, they give you points, and if you buy certain points, you, you have a recompensation for those are, tickets bought. Are you buying a lot of airline tickets yourself? <laughs> More than you think. <laughs> okay. So this is uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. So and I, I don't mean theoretically. I mean, do you actually? Is there something like I don't know, computer games or? So are you talking uh, about the educational system? No. I mean, anything. Is there anything well, that like, you? If you go to the cinema, for example, they also here in Spain when you buy some tickets, they give you some points, and those points you can change them for popcorn and drinks, for example. Yeah, yeah. I understand the concept. I'm just saying, in education, do you think it would really work? really work? Like, is yeah, there something that working is this uh, working? Mainly students uh, need a motivation, apart from their grades, uh, to do an entertaining performance. So if you want to improve their skills, you just can make them compete with themselves to see who is the one who earned most points, and then also they can earn some benefits through those points. So mm -hmm. I think that will work, definitely. There are some platforms who have already implemented uh, kind of the system to make it work, so I think it should work, yeah. Okay. I have too many Thank questions, you. but I should let other people have some. One from over here. Thank you. Um, well, uh, you ended with a, a teamwork is key, something like that. Uh, but all uh, your proposals are like to increase competitivity between uh, students. And don't, uh, don't you believe like um, it's better to like teamwork and collaboration, which uh, like could improve? instead of competing and uh, higher grading students, like you put it, are going to have more uh, like advantages than the ones that are having less grade just because the educational system is not working for them? Okay, well, the thing is, as I just told, the teacher is responsible for both setting the points you award to the, to the person or to the student and both the points that are necessary to get some benefits. So if a teacher says that a boy is making such a big effort, he can give the points to him. Although his work is not that good, but he knows he's taking his effort. So what I'm referring to is just giving some merit, kind of merit, kind of uh, valuing the effort for students. And not just the grade, because the grade is a number, but you have to value the skills. You have to value his performance, if he has effort or not in his task. And that's what we have to value. And as I said, all those variables can be assigned by the teachers, so we're not putting anything standard. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Anyone else? You had your hand? Moody? <laughs> well, um, I just wanted to ask if, well, it's similar to his question. I mean, we already have too much um, pressure on ourselves when they grade us, and there's a lot of competitivity in the class. But if we put these points, it will increase even more the competitivity and will create persons that in the future will be efficient in the work, but not too nice to be <laughs> to say. So it's not it's not something that could worry you that creating someone like that. Um, what we should not forget is that this is a competition within yourself. So these points that you are given, it is regarding to your own work. It does not compete with your other classmates. It starts with your beginning mark, and if you improve your skills and your performance, then it gives you more points. If another student that has more facility in some subjects gives an even better mark than what they already have, they probably earn the same points you earn by just improving your own performance. 
Thank you. Well, I want to add something because it's not just individual points. As uh, Pablo mentioned, I don't know if you want to add something. It's also team points. So people can collaborate for earning that points. And it's not only about the grades. You can also be punctual in class and show a good attitude to earn those points. But as I said, all those rivals are established by the teacher who is the one who most knows you. So, yeah. I, no. I also wanted to add that um, we would uh, develop a method where you can't see the other people's points. Um, if you have some uh, competitivity uh, problem, uh, it's a personal matter. So if you want to share your punctuations with other people, uh, then it's more a relationship matter between uh, the friends or the companions. Uh, but the own uh, the platform doesn't show you the points that other students have, so you just don't have to compete with other students. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, I have a lot of I have a lot of thoughts about gamification in general, but I, I'll just leave one in everyone's mind. Is it more important for a school to um, produce people who are working, who are good workers, or to produce good citizens? I think it kind of reflects what you were saying, also. But that's a thought. So, uh, some of the older students in the room. Oh, you're an old student. Also an old student. Okay, uh, thank you very much for, for all your presentation. As a perspective from a teacher, I have some questions. I think it's a great idea, the, the proposals that you did, but on one hand, for example, the grading. You talk about punctuality. Um, there's a pro I mean, it can be a problem in the future because there are some responsibilities of students that if teachers has to start um, giving a prize to accomplish the, 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 the regulations of the school, like it's the punctuality, to be punctual on the class, in the future it can be a, it, it can be a problem because then we have to transform all the things that are necessary to, to the good um, to the good system of the educational training to be recompensated in some way that it, it, it has not to be necessary that that on the other hand I think that there are points and there are systems that can be added but I think at least that we should divide between the extra effort and the basic things that that students should should do and on the other hand okay <laughs> and Okay, no, please. Well, what I was thinking about is just, um, I did an example because it's just like the, you have to, you uh, to reword like an exemplar, like the one who does it perfect so everyone knows what is, you, what you are expecting to them. Because mainly in, uh, if you go to, I don't know, the primary education, uh, you have to teach them how, how to arrive to that point you want them to be. and. If, if a student does not arrive at time, we think that uh, if you punish him, there's a probability that he will not go, well, like he will not arrive late again. But uh, if you think that you reward the one who does it okay, the ones that do not do it okay will want, uh, we want to do it because he's having advantages the other ones are not obviously having. So okay. I think I, it's, a, it's a way to, uh, to make the students... To promote the positive. Yeah, the positive but, recompensation. Yeah, so make the students want to do it right. Not just because it's a, a rule, or it's, it's just about motivation and wanting to do it okay. okay. And that it's one you want to And my second question was uh, related to that. Um, I think that maybe if, if Moodle can add, um, because you said, I, I was surprised um, as a teacher, eh? Uh, I was surprised about the anonymously necessity of the of the scores and, and these things. Maybe if we could use Moodle as a teachers always eh? um, to share with you the rubrics to evaluation to 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 implicate yourselves the students more in the evaluation process. Maybe it could be more neutral or I don't know. About the anonymous uh, proposal is because um, we have been told by some teachers that sometimes 
just when teachers see the name of the person who has done a task, they automatically, like unconsciously, grade it differently just because of that person's attitude and not because um, of the actual task. So that's why we're proposing the teacher not to be able to see the name of the person, so they grade it objectively, and then once they have the grade, they see who it belongs to. And we Thank basically you. thought that, for example, if a teacher knows the name, then they expect a higher thing. For example, if I always have nine and ten, then they expect a higher thing than me and another student. So if we don't like introduce the name firstly, then they may expect the same thing from everyone and grade according to their task and not according to their name. So this is more like about the expectancy level and like expecting the task either than the name and the like the thing done by that student specifically. Thank you. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> the, in, this discussion is hotting up. This is, I think this session should be like three hours next time so we have a bit more time. Unfortunately, we have to go to the next school so I want to say thank you very much for that presentation and great ideas. Thank you, guys. On the, on the gamification, I can see some of the classic arguments of intrinsic versus extrinsic motivation coming up. So if anyone's interested in looking into that, there's a lot about it. There might be a, polit a political angle to that as well, actually. This is terrific. I think we, we need to have this session at every Moodle moot from, that we have. <laughs> so it was just suggested that uh, we should let the kids organize the Moodle moots and invite the developers. It's actually a pretty good idea. <laughs> And hello to the people watching online as well. We're streaming this as well. All right, guys, over to you. You asked us to come up with a vision for Moodle, to tell you how Moodle could be better from a student's perspective. That's why we've taken Moodle, broke it into pieces, and reorganized them into the, uh, taking the best pieces and reorganizing them into what we believe Moodle should be, a place more student-centered, a better place to work and communicate more effectively, and an overall better place to learn. So, if you go. Uh, we are a state secondary school and we work by learning units. For example, in my class we're doing the Mediterranean Sea, so we work different things related to the Mediterranean, like history or uh, languages from there. Um, our principal tool where we work is Moodle. We also use Google for Education to create documents or presentations, but uh, where we all have our work and the information of the teachers is on Moodle. So, now you know who we are and our concept, and we're ready to introduce to you, for the first time ever, many ideas that have already been presented, but we've d decided to take it one step further. So, we'd like to introduce to you, Model Plus. <laughs> um, I... uh, uh, now we're going to take you to the experience of Model Plus, uh, screen by screen. So we obviously begin with login. Uh, we're going to log in, and now, if you please, log in. 
Okay, here, uh, here we have the dashboard. We've taken dashboard, taken best piece of Moodle, and reorganized them in a way. We have uh, the timeline, the calendar, the statistics, the user and settings, uh, the new, the only board file, um, the Moodle net for students, and the Moodle assistant. Yes. Uh, uh, so uh, let's begin with, with the calendar, please. The calendar. Well, let's talk a, bit, a little bit about the time. Um, one of the competencies is to know how to manage the time. And a lot of students don't know how to do it, and, oh, yeah. or they don't do because they know they doesn't know how to do it. Uh, with, with, this, with this calendar, um, they would like, learn this competence and how to organize themselves with the schedules, and not only by writing down their homework on the calendar, um, here the timeline will appear um, like the personal, the personal like finishes that you want to do at the end of the course, or also the um, the uh, the earliest uh, finishing tasks without delivering that will appear at the at the top of this timeline because uh, you have to know what is the uh, task would will finish before earlier. Okay, now, now we're gonna go back and uh, go to uh, the profile. Okay, um, one of the biggest problems uh, we have is that when we are working or, for example, we are making a quiz, um, some minutes passed and when we press a model button automatically we lose all of our progress. Um, our idea is to make a manual regenerate timer like um, you have a, a timer with the time you have left for the automatically log out and if you hold down your profile icon you can regenerate your session expiration. And if you accept of you, if you instead of hold down, you press it, the, the profile icon, you can open the settings. So here you, here you could find the settings and create some personalized ones. And something we'd like to remark is that we'd like to personalize more um, the appearance and we'd like to choose which notifications we receive and which ones we don't. Uh, okay, now we're going to go uh, into the files. So. Well, uh, this is the, the possible uh, file explorer uh, where you could see the different categories divided um, into uh, file types and also the, uh, the files you have been eating recently. In addition, we want Moodle to create its own tools uh, to encourage students' creativity. Uh, these tools uh, could be dashboard, uh, a text editor, presentation editor, uh, voice recorder, image editor, uh, uh, audio editor, video editor, and more. Um, also, some apps of Google for Education or, or others um, can be integrated into Moodle. Okay, now we're going to go in into the stats. In this sex of stats, um, well, you can see the statistics of the, all of the students and the, the own students' statistics. Um, we have the uh, one apart that it's personalized learning. It's, the, uh, it's um, like an artificial um, learning. You have a... Um, it, it, Keep. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, we we can go now. We can go into the personalized learning. Don't worry. Uh, uh, here inside the personalized learning, the well, uh, like the algorithms tell tell you uh, which uh, things you need to train. Like I don't know, you need to public speaking or calculation, calculating math fast, and uh, automatically creates you a Duolingo like interface where you can uh, study these things. And 
here you could see your plan. It would be like a learning landscape of your learning unit, meaning that it would be more easy and faster to see all the tasks that you have in each unit. Also, there will be the ones that, that you have already done. And there will be extra tasks to um, review the ones that you don't understand. Inside of the unit, there will be the explanation of the task, but it will be more dynamic and attractive, much more visual. Uh, now we uh, are going to go into the assistant. Many times, the student uh, need help, and the teacher don't have 25 hours for a single student. This is where the assistant arrives. I um, um, using the calendar information and the learning way, uh, the calend uh, an algorithm or something like that recommends you and, and guide through all the activities to do the most efficient and relevant task. Uh, well, so, um, also, you can ask for the calendar on be the, um, practice and be the best on your weakest points. Okay, uh, now we're going to go sorry, into the Moodle net. There already is a Moodle net, but it's for teachers to share the content they create. So we want to give the Moodle net uh, to students, and there are three main sections of the Moodle net. Uh, the chat, the forum, and news and tournaments. Uh, we go into news and tournaments. Thank you. Here we have it. It's very similar to what they've said. Um, but uh, uh, there are like three levels of... Um, uh, like deepness. You can be uh, at news, they can be from the teacher, like they've said, instead of sending a mail to everyone. Uh, they can be from a group or a community of high schools, like from around here, from the neighborhood. Uh, or uh, they can be from the entire wall, or the own Moodle can introduce new features or everything here, so everyone can see it automatically without sending mails to people. And the tournaments, uh, where have more, instead of tournaments, like challenges, where um, groups of individuals or individuals uh, try to come up with the best solution uh, for a problem proposed and learning this way. So, yes. Now we can go into the chat. Uh, like you've said, if things are, are there but are not used, they're not useful. So uh, we've also designed a chat that uh, would be um, more mm, like more beautiful, actually, <laughs> um, to, uh, to, uh, so students can use it more. And it has like um, chat, mail, and video call all in one, uh, making uh, the Moodle Plus a lot more integrated. Uh, you can also share files without having to download them and upload them again. So. And now we can go into the forum. Here, uh, uh, we, you can browse by subjects and, I, and find documents and questions and answers by both the teachers and the students. Uh, you can uh, ask a question so other students and teachers can answer you from all around the world. And you can answer questions that the assistant will tell you are the more likely you are to respond. Uh, so you can help other people. And now if we go into discover people, uh, here we have the people. You can have people with similar answers, uh, winners. You can have teachers who answer a lot of questions. Uh, you, can, you can have, for example, here we have Lyle Gray, the helper of the week, who has helped more people than anyone else. If we go into her profile, here we have, here we have her profile. Um, and uh, you can see her followers. You can follow her. Uh, you can see the badges that Moodle already has, redesigned, so everyone can see them, and she can choose this. Uh, she, you can, she chose to. Uh, share some templates and, and some photos, and we can enter her blog. If, go. And here in the blog, it's like a blog and a portfolio, which could be accessed later from outside the network, so you don't have to have a mobile account to enter, and where she can upload her documents and things so the world can see them. And, uh, no. Enter at all. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Let's go back in. Hi. Thank you. And uh, the profiles can also be customized, like someone said, I don't remember who actually. And uh, uh, absolutely, you can choose your colors, your layout, everything. 
and even high schools and schools and universities can have their profile, so uh, it's easier to meet them and uh, create exchange, international exchanges for trips and this kind of thing. And you can get information and the kind of high school they are and, and everything. Uh, so uh, we, we know that with all, to do all this and the assistant and the algorithms and everything, you need a lot of data. And for this data, at least here in Europe, that creates uh, a lot of ethical questions. Uh, so, but uh, I don't think it's a question of whether we should do it. I think it's a question of who's going to do it first. Because we can do it ourselves and be open and free and private and secure and the students can choose what data they share or we can let Google do it. Uh, so um, so uh, I believe uh, we should do this. And with this and everything else, we hope we can uh, make model and hopefully ourselves a little bit better. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you to the amazing people that make models better every day. And thank you so much. Wow. I, I think I speak for everybody when I say wow. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Th thank you, Steve Jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Thank you for I, making Moodle. I think we may have we may have some jobs at Moodle headquarters for you. Uh, yeah. I, um, I would like to ask you: Do you have a UX UI department? Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> because we should. <laughs> we we were discussing this yesterday. Some people left, and we we need UX people. So seriously, come to the Moodle headquarters. And we'll talk. Yeah, I would like to. If I, I can see. <laughs> uh, no, amazing. How how much? How long did the team work on this? Three days. Three days. <laughs> we started. <laughs> all right. It's it's all done on Adobe XD, and if you want the files, we have uh, an uploaded online version, so everyone can try it. All right. one one. Don't worry about university, just come to Moodle. <laughs> um, thank you. All right, thank you. So, uh, look, I, I, I'm interested in the other students. Like, of what I love about is how, how much work you put into visualizing, actually, these ideas. It, it, did anybody, if, put your hand up if you could see yourself using that system. Okay. <laughs> wow, a lot you. of hands. Um, I have a lot of questions, but who's got who, any of the, the students or uh, other people got questions? Who's got some questions, some thoughts, or just feedback? All right. I, I would just be concerned about the uh, student portfolio uh, privacy considerations. To have, have that open to the world. Um, yeah. Okay, I, I'm not moody, but I'll try to answer the best I can. Um, uh, it's basically like if you're inside the network, you can um, you can enter like browsing to the what we've shown, but once you're outside, or you can decide to put it uh, public for everyone. Uh, it's just like on Google, you can enter the page directly by looking for the name, and you can enter the profile. But you can later you can later go like into the um, the other pe people and things. It's more like a website, like there already are portfolios out there. Thank you. So, you want where? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh. <laughs> Just yell. Yeah, I'll repeat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, okay so, so the question was, would you, yes. would you as students use a social network for students? Um, I think it's a question of whether how good is it. Because like everything we've shown and like he, someone said that later, if it's there but we don't know it's there or it's like there's other things better out there, we're not going to use it. But uh, like 
if we know if it's so good that uh, it's already there, it's in our computers, we, it's in our phones, and it's integrated with everything we do, it's easier for us to use, and if it's good enough, like uh, graphically and um, from experience, I think we're going to use it. I don't know uh, who would be comfortable with using it, because I know like it's mobile teachers out there, <laughs> but, um, uh, but I, I like this for not teachers can't look at your private messages and this kind of thing. <laughs> Tremendous. We are well over time, but maybe yeah. one more question for any, anyone. Anyone got a burning question? Go, I saw you first. Good morning. Uh, it's not really a question, but more of a, a comment or a thought. I, I work in capacity development, and I, I was amazed with all the, the um, suggestions from all the schools. I would love to be 30 years younger and go back to school. Um, <laughs> but. I'm thinking of capacity development and developing countries and specifically small island, small island developing states. Um, how does Moodle can help uh, these very specific needs uh, regarding training? So it's, it's something for, for, for thought for uh, the Moodle side. I think we're going to discuss that over coffee, uh, probably. <laughs> so, uh, look. Thank you so much uh, to the students Thank from the school and from all the students. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. And thank you. Just um, absolutely uh, tremendous. I hope you all agree. So uh, one last thing from Solange, I think. Thank you. Oh, and my goodness, the, the students have really inspired me. I hope they've inspired you as much to continue on this day for learning. So here are a few announcements. Everybody who has an orange tag also has this information. So if you don't uh, get everything that I'm saying right now. So there is an analytics, learning analytics workshop with Elizabeth, and it has been scheduled at 1140 in the classroom. So you can learn about learning analytic function, functionalities in Moodle, and it also includes the latest features from Moodle 3.8. App and web are updated. So that will be in the classroom with Elizabeth uh, Learning Analytics Workshop. And if someone is interested in Moodle documentation translation, uh, you can meet at the Moodle table at 1 o'clock today. And also there's been a change in a schedule with the session about translating Moodle documentation is now at 3 p.m. in the Barcelona room. And uh, the one that was there, the learning data and learning analytics, goals and progress, will be 4 p.m. in Perth room. Right? So we do have this information. And so if you, if you didn't catch all of that and those two changes, uh, please check with one of us at the Moodle table and also at the registration desk. Thank you. Thank you. Um, this is the, the end of the session, but I'd love all of the, uh, the students to come up on the stage and we'll get a big group photo together. So come on, come on back up and we'll go to coffee. Thank you. Yeah.